You know, this is a dream job for me. My best friend in the whole world, Lawrence Brown, is over there. And Lawrence and I used to spend a lot of time in Coldfield House parking lots. And I can't tell you the stories of why we were in those parking lots. But uh, we attended as many of those basketball games that we could. You know, going over into Maryland Stadium and having an opportunity. Grew up rooting for the Terps. And if you know anything about the Terps, man, in the mid-'80s, they were, they were a tough, tough team. And, uh, I grew up loving the Turks, and this dream job for me. Good afternoon from the new cold field house of Eric Wade from Suitland High School. Coach, why is having locks come back to the area such a big deal for the whole community? Well, Coach Locks has always been one of our guys, and no matter where he's been, mm -hmm. he's always been a resource for us to evaluate kids, advice, uh, a resource that he uses to get to other coaches and, and as a recruiting tool and then just being a great guy um, to, to, to kick around with and, and the kids understand that he's one of those people that you can always be uh, uh, upfront and, and truthful with. How long have you known Locks? Wow, uh, 30 years, 30, 35 years. I'm from this area. Um, mm -hmm. He went to school with a bunch of fraternity brothers of mine, mm -hmm. so I've always known him, and, and mm -hmm. since he's been coaching, we've mm -hmm. always uh, hit it off right away. Cool. So what's going on with Suitland football? What do you expect for next season? Well, Suitland, we're, uh, we were young this year. Uh, we had a great season anyway. Um, we expect every year that our kids are going to play hard, they're going to get good grades, and mm -hmm. then we're going to see our seniors go off to college. So uh, wins and losses are just a product of what we do. Good to hear. Well, thanks for being on, and go Terps. Thanks. Go Terps.